Welcome back 40k fans. Um, this is Stu from the Battleforge Brothers channel um, and this is um, going to be the intro to a bit of a new series that, um, that I'm going to start doing in the next couple of uh, next couple of months. Um, it's basically uh, what it's going to be is pro by the title of the video you've probably guessed um, it, it's it's going to be a bit of a series. Uh, think of it like of a, a faction focus um and it's going to be aimed to beginners of the hobby um but of course uh, you guys that are experienced with uh, it, it, obviously the hobby you've been in the hobby for some time um you know it, it'd be interesting to hear your thoughts as well um and it would be a really good talking point in these videos you know for uh for you to leave your comments and uh, a little bit of guidance for some of your new people that are you said maybe he's, seen a games workshop shop or warhammer as it's called now uh you, you just kind of understand a little bit of the rules maybe you know may, maybe it's that you've got a, uh, a friend that that knows a little bit more than you that plays and you've seen his collection and you're wondering you know yeah i, I want to get into this i know what the, the you know that it's figures and you know models and battling on on the ground but i kind of don't really know where to start um so that that's essentially what this series is going to be on going to be based but uh, what i wanted to do first is just a bit of an introduction so that you know what's going to be coming in the uh, in the next couple of uh, months because it'll take a while to go through all all the different factions of course uh, but the main thing that i wanted to do was first of all uh, to you new people that are wanting to get started and you're struggling where to go uh, which armies that you just want to do and looking for advice looking for videos such as this online uh, is basically it's it's kind of um it's kind of questions that you have to ask yourself really so what i've got in front of me is just an example of some of the things that you'll see in the windows or you know online so you'll see this guy here most popular space marine you know you'll see other little you know models like this uh, that you haven't got any idea what they are and where the fit in the universe that you that you want to kind of uh, expand in and game so first of all the hobby so the, the hobby i've been in the hobby for 15 years uh, there's some people out there that have been in the hobby for quite some time and it is a very enjoyable hobby um the, there's lots of aspects to the hobby which you've already seen gaming is the, is obviously a, a very big one you've got the background the you know the law or the fluff as it is known um and of course, one of the main aspects is um, obviously the painting. So, if you know the, if you're not keen on painting at all, then some of the factions I wouldn't really advise. Which we'll we'll go over that later on. But the main kind of faction is uh, the main kind of point. Sorry, is to get started. What what models have you seen that you like the interest? You know, have you looked at a Space Marine? You know these guys here that I showed earlier. You know, if and you might end up looking at these and you think, "Yep, I like the look of them. That's what I want to start." Or you might see a particular model that that piques your interest that you think, "Wow, you know, these these uh, this particular faction has some really nice models right up my street. That's what I want to do." That's the main kind of point, and that's the main reason that you should really go for an army, in in my opinion. Uh, there's a couple of other factors, but one of the main points is. Is it going to be something that you want to put your money into and that you want to enjoy painting and, you, and you're going to enjoy once they're all finished and lined up? If it's not a faction that you, that you like the look of, but you're just going off, oh, well, I've heard these are really good, then th there's an argument for, for that. But I would say, well, there's no point. You know, I mean, I, uh, I like most of the armies out there, but I know some people can't stand certain armies. Like some people hate orcs, some people hate space marines um so there's no point putting your money into an army that, you, that you're not going to enjoy you put building you're not going to enjoy painting you're going to lose interest so go for the models and go for the army that you that you really like the look of so that's the main point the other point is what i kind of touched on in in the first point was how confident of a painter are you because obviously painting is is a big aspect of the hobby um it's a very enjoyable one as well, you know, to see it go from from the plastic. This is just a spare be piece, but to see it go from the horrible grey, to see it all nice and painted up with the, with the actual paint on it. It's, it's nice, especially once you put your effort in and it's all laid out and you've got a full painted army. It looks brilliant. So 
especially for beginners, if you've never ever painted anything detail wise, you know, you probably want to look at something, especially for your first army, you want to look at something that you that you'd think, yep, yeah, I can I can do a fairly decent job on that. Um there's a couple of factions that I'd probably say are good for that. So you've got your Space Marines. Now, this here is a Space Marine uh, of the Flesh Terrors chapter. Um, and there's not too much detail really to do on these guys. I mean, I've, I've personally, I've done a few little bits and bobs. But as you can see by him, you know, he's all armor. So you've got your color for your armor. You can change things up like the helmet. There's not as much intricacies on on the model so and of course space marines the one of the most popular factions and the reason for that is they're a great all-rounder but we'll cover more on space marines in the actual individual faction focus uh, series that we'll do so you've got your space marines they're a good little stable for a beginner and uh, necrons as well I, I don't actually have any necrons anymore unfortunately but necrons are basically the kind of like Warhammer's version of like the Terminator, you know, from from, from the film, like your T one thousands, your T eight hundred, robotic skeletal kind of um, units, um, and the ex one of the easiest model uh, armies to paint. Um, one of the basic uh, color schemes is obviously just silver. You can get some dry brush on there. You can put a bit of washes on it, um, and then obviously a couple of different colors for the guns. So you so you, it's not just a boring silver color. You can mix things up, but it's. It's not too technical. Um, there's that one, and then of course, um, there's certain factions out there as well. Maybe, you know, perhaps maybe um, Chaos Space Marines as well, with within limits. There's certain color schemes that are a little bit tricky, but th there's other armies out there that you may like the look of. That, for a, a painting perspective, is extremely daunting. Um, take Harlequins for example. Um, I mean, this is. This is one of my harder ones uh, that I've done. And, I mean, you don't have to paint them like this at all. You can paint it however you want. And that's one of the joys of, of the game. But if you wanted to paint it up like this, you know, and especially if you've never painted details, it might be a bit daunting and it might put you off the rest of the hobby. So I would say, just to, to wrap up that kind of point, is go for an army that you like the look of. By all means... Paint it however the heck you want. But if you want to do it justice, you know, just don't dive in too much into a really hard, difficult colour scheme. You know, you, you, that's the joy. You can paint them however you want. If you wanted to do Harlequins, you could paint them pink if you wanted. But to do them justice and to do certain armies, you know, just, just especially your very first army, you'll probably end up collecting it. And then you'll move on. Your skills will, will get better. So... The painting aspect is an important one, and that's kind of wrapping up point two. So point one, like I say, do an army that you think um, that, that you that you like the look of, because at the end of the day, you want to play with a uh, with with an army that you appreciate the look of, and you you like putting the time into it. And then of course the painting aspect, um, probably the the last little little bit to touch on before we move on to separate videos for each faction focus, um, is obviously you wanting to get into the hobby. You're wanting to play. Um, I'd probably say, do you have areas that you can play? So the, the, the problem is, is if you want to get into it, it's a little bit tricky if you live in the middle of nowhere and you know you, none of your mates kind of play it and, and it's quite a distance to go. Um, you know, certainly it, it's always good. Uh, me and me and Graham waste uh, the, um, on the channel. Uh, me and Graham started off together, which was a good point because... It meant that we were kind of moving at the same pace. We always had an opponent. And of course we could always share ideas. So it's always good if you've got a friend. Most people that are wanting to get in the hobby. Know somebody that's in the hobby anyway. But just on the off chance. That you've discovered it on your own. Then you know. Have a look around. See if there's any local gaming places. Or, or your local games workshop. Um, talk to the staff. The staff are always helpful. Um, maybe it's a little bit eccentric. But you know they are a little bit helpful. And. You know, they'll give you some advice on units, colour schemes, paints, you know, the the best kind of ways to do. And, of course, there's places such as YouTube as well. Um, and, of course, certainly check out the rest of, of the series of videos that will be coming out. Um, where what I'm going to do is we'll go over each faction. So for Space Marines, for example, we'll do a, a video purely based on that. What they're good at, 
why you know if you if you're collecting them all the different ranges so very very quickly just to kind of wrap it up because this is just meant to be a bit of a short video um just to give you a brief little look of course just in the rule book you have probably maybe seen things like this but there is a wide selection of armies that you can do so we have here the space marines your primaris for you new guys primaris is kind of a sub faction of space marines that's it's kind of the new that these are a lot more popular than the old ones because the, the scale of them is much better so you've got your different color schemes here you know if you if you like that particular if you loved space marines you wanted you got your different color schemes then you've got your little sub factions you, there's, there's a lot i'll not go into all of them but you've got your gray knights you've got your astro militarum which is kind of like your your space military they have lots of tanks you've got your adeptus mechanicus which reside on mars which they're kind of like cyborg-esque people I, I suppose you've got the imperial knights which are your big massive tanks but the quite daunting but you you know you the the points wise for them um you can only have a small army uh you've got your imperial agents we'll not go into that at this moment and then of course you've got loads of different showcases of different color schemes here as well um then you've got moving on you have the forces of chaos these are kind of like your well bad guys i suppose You've got your Death Guards, as you can see, these are kind of like the twisted version of your Space Marines. So if you like the models of Space Marines, but you want to go a little bit evil, you know, you can kind of do that. Uh, you've got your Thousand Sons there, that's an army that features on, on the channel. Um, and obviously there's, there's unique models and very nice colour schemes for each faction out there. Uh, you've got your Demons, you've got your Eldar, which is my number one faction. Um, I absolutely love Eldar. Um... Let's see if there's any more. It's been ages since I've actually gone through the rule book. You've got different kind of subsects as well. So you've got the Dark Eldar. And there's the Harlequins there as well. Uh, you've got the new, a slightly newish faction, uh, the Yanari, which are just Eldar, as, I suppose. Uh, these are the Necrons I mentioned earlier. As you can see, space robots. And the colour schemes on them, like I say, you can do a, you can do a nice job on Necrons. You can make them look really, really cool, but with... Not a massive amount of effort. You've got the Orcs. Um, very popular faction. Really cool. Moving on. You've got the Tau. These are kind of like your anime-esque Gundam robot. They have a lot of like battle suits. Um, I know these are extremely popular. Um, a lot of people don't like them either. But I, I, I don't mind them. I think they look pretty cool. Um, you've got the Tyranids. One of my other favourite armies. And the Gene Steeler Cults. Which are kind of like a subservient of them and i think yeah just a more artwork here just to show them the eldar uh, the dark eldar which are a, a, a sub faction of the eldar we'll go through them and then just quite a lot of different um different artwork there so as you can imagine there's a lot of videos and a lot of um things that are going to be coming out for each different faction focus so we'll wrap that up there so what we'll do first is uh, the next video that we'll we'll be releasing um will be we'll do a faction focus on space marines next um which is obviously these guys there's a different one there um which we'll do the space marines next we'll talk about um just going into you know what makes them a good army what their strengths are what their weaknesses are how they generally play on the on the battlefield um and what i'll do is i'll also get some kind of concept uh, some artwork and put some artwork up on the screen just to show you a couple of different uh units and and what they would look like as as an assembled army so obviously check out the battle reports on the channel as well uh, just to give you an idea for some of the factions uh, me and graham don't have every faction um but there's quite a lot of factions that feature on graham's got uh probably the big the biggest um with his ultramarine force so Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, we'll move on and we'll do Space Marines next. But um, keep an eye out for the different faction focuses. Um, like I say, if there's a one that piques your interest, certainly, you know, if, if you just want to leave a comment and, you know, some advice, by all means, ask away. And you guys that are experienced already in the hobby, 
um certainly leave your comments you know to, to advise you know some of the new people that are wanting to get into it um you know give them a bit of a heads up and and of course it's always nice to have some encouragement when you're in when you're a new player um and apart from that guys uh, thanks very much for watching keep an eye out for the rest of the faction for this